climate change is not about huge phenomena, ice caps melting, uh, tsunamis rising, oceans rising, etc. These will and may happen yet. Uh, carbon trading is really capitalist whoring on the international financial markets to make money from human misery and tragedy. The simple truth about climate change is that we are reducing the quantity of oxygen in the atmosphere which we need to breathe second by second to stay alive. This is the most uncomfortable, shocking truth which governments are obfuscating and not expressing. President Al Gore, ex-president, or rather ex-vice president Al Gore's film, Inconvenient Truth, only very fleetingly referred to the car industry and not at all to the aviation industry or warmongering, which are the main culprits of climate change. Governments must act immediately in very practical ways to deal with the problem. There is no time left to save ourselves from choking in the streets. One, ban all cars from city centers. Cars must only be used for long distance travel. Two, develop public transport, non-polluting non fuel, public transport, train power, etc. Three, new designs for bicycle power can be enhanced for inner city use. Ground all airplanes for six months and close airports for six months. And most importantly, and very urgently, we must reforest all the areas, regions of the world which we foolishly have deforested for sheer greed to transform uh, huge regions into uh, cattle ranches for the hamburger industry. 50% uh, of the Amazon is gone. We must urgently reforest uh, the Amazon and Southeast Asian uh, 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 forests destroyed with fast-growing trees, pump oxygen into the atmosphere. All consumer products must be biodegradable. Most of all, stop all warmongering and global wars immediately. There is absolutely no time left. Uh, there's no point in babbling that we can't do this, we can't do that. It is too complex a matter and too complicated political nonsense. Governments have enough resources to cope with anything. And it is vitally important that we stop modern technological warfare, which is responsible for the reduction of oxygen globally. Uh, the alternative of this nonsensical argument is literally the death of us all everywhere in the world.